What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent. And man, I am excited about this series that we're in, this academy that we're going through, this teaching that we are sharing on the channel. And I'm hoping that you're tracking with us, hoping that you're taking the journey as well. Um, it, it wouldn't hurt you to hit that subscribe button so that you can see and be notified when these videos are posted on the channel and that you can track with us even for our live shows, which we do have several. But in today's video, today's version of the academy, StreamYard Academy, that is, we're going to be looking looking at how to optimize your camera and stream quality. Let's get into it. So here we are back in StreamYard, back on the broadcast page, right? This is where we start everything out. This is where it all happens. Um, we are going to go into the test room. I have a test room always there just in case I need to meet somebody real quick. I always have this link uh, prepped and ready to go. So I'm going to enter, enter the test room. And so just think of this as the broadcast that you're about to do. So you're entering that broadcast session. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna mute my mic, but I'm gonna leave the camera on, and you'll see why in a second. Before we even go into the studio, before we even go into the studio, I want to go to Cam Mike, and I want to see what camera am I using. So this is the place to do that. You want to be able to come here, hit this drop down list, and what camera am I using? So here I'm using the Cam Link, and that's connected to my my Sony A6000, which is what I'm using to record this video. So Cam Link is here. That's the camera that I want. Boom, I'm already in the right place, in the right space. But when you click on show advanced, it's actually gonna show you the resolution. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into someone else's studio for their show and I'm saying to them, hey, uh, looks like you have you know standard definition enabled. Um, and these are people who are paying for the pro account. You wanna make sure that you have the right resolution enabled for your camera, right? We are on camera. This is, we're looking at the camera right now. So I click this and I say camera resolution is set to 1080p and that's it. That's how we can optimize what our camera is sending into the system and what the system is receiving. But how do we know what we, the system, StreamYard, is sending out to the world, to the destinations that you have set up? In order to do that, you gotta take it one step further by actually going into the studio. Uh, this, is, this is all the stuff that we had from the last session, uh, from the last Academy series, which was um, uh, How It All Works, the live stream graphics academy. And so if you haven't checked those out, there are five videos that you need to go and check to be able to figure out how can I do all of this stuff in StreamYard. But that's not what we're here for. I want you to see once we're in the system, you can click on settings and that brings up the settings screen. And right here, it shows you broadcast quality. And you can hover your mouse over the question mark, obviously, and it's going to tell you all the different things. Facebook only does 720p, does same, same for Periscope, but Periscope is kind of going away. But it gives you some details in terms of where some, some of the platforms will not take your 1080p or other pieces like that. But the point being is that you do want to come in here and check to see what it's set to. Because if it's not set to the right thing, it doesn't matter what you're sending into the system from your camera, it may actually be degraded because you have the wrong setting set in StreamYard. So those are the two things that we're doing today. Optimizing your camera quality, optimizing your stream quality with these settings in StreamYard. That's it. <laughs> we was a quick one today. Uh, sometimes we're just going to get right in and get out of your way. That's how this series is going to be. Not a whole lot of talking, but I'm hoping that you're tracking with us, hoping that you're getting value from what we're sharing. Even if you're a StreamYard expert, there is, these are good reminders for all of us. Sometimes I, I fall victim to not checking some of these very simple settings and it has an impact on my stream. In the next video, right? In the next video, I want you to catch this. We had a video uh, pr prior to this one, and we've got a video after this one, and we want you to, to track with us. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at optimizing your audio quality. What does my sound sound like? Uh, we're gonna be walking through some of those pieces in that video, and we want you to be with us. So make sure you come back tomorrow for that video. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere today as we looked at camera quality and stream quality, you were able to figure out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.